What's up, y'all? It's your boy, DST. We're here with some good news, some sports news, crazy stuff. I had to run and make this video for you guys. Rob Gronkowski got traded to the Buccaneers from the Patriots to play with Tom Brady. Crazy stuff. Stay tuned for the video. We're here, we're better than ever, we're ready to go, super excited to actually talk some sports and dissect them. Okay, so, some breaking news. Rob Gronkowski got traded to the Buccaneers from the Patriots, and the Patriots gave up a 7th round pick for a 4th. So, I'm going to put the breakdown right here so you can see more about it. So, I have some information right in front of me, so I have a couple things I want to tackle here. Number one being... I think that this move has been in the works for, I don't know, like two years. I think the day that Rob Gronkowski retired, Tom Brady knew when he was going to leave, and that was definite. He wasn't coming back to the Patriots. He basically just dragged us through the mud and along the entire time. He was never coming back. He had a conversation with Gronk saying, you're going to come back, play with me wherever I go, which I don't think the Buccaneers were ever the real destination for Brady, but that's where we're at, the Buccaneers. With that being said, I think that Rob Gronkowski retired last year because he's been injury prone his whole career took a full year off, got healthy, and legitimately, the more I think about it, it's a great move for him because if he ends up playing, he's gonna be the fourth option or third option. That's never happened in his career, potentially. He's gonna get a lot of open looks and he's gonna be really good there. Just another body. And I think the Buccaneers just got put over the top. The Buccaneers are really good on paper. They're nasty. Number two, how the Patriots handle this whole Rob Gronkowski, Tom Brady thing has been horrible. And I truly believe the Patriots, this is one of the first times I can say as a Patriots fan, the Patriots did not handle their assets correctly. This is why I believe that. With Tom Brady leaving, I firmly believe that the Patriots believed that Tom Brady was going to cave and come back. And then Brady said, you know what? I've caved a million times in my career. I'm just going to move on. And the Patriots said, okay, see you later. Thinking he's going to come back. He didn't come back. So mismanagement number one. Two years ago with Rob Gronkowski, they thought he was going to cave and he was going to come back. Clearly mismanaged because he didn't play. With my information in front of me, Adam Schefter, one of the goats of the whole industry, says, 2018 Rob Gronkowski trade. Lions receive Gronkowski and a second round pick and the Patriots receive a first and a second. So basically swap seconds and get a first for Gronk. Fast forward to 2020. The Patriots give up Gronk and a seventh and only get a fourth. That's only two years apart. That was a grossly mismanaged asset, and the Patriots are going to regret that. They could have a first-round pick. Whether they drafted for anyone or not, it's still a mismanaged asset because they should have got more for it. That's my honest opinion, and I, I'm going to firmly stand with that. And with it being said, I think that the Buccaneers are put over the top. They're going to be filthy. They're going to be insane. They're actually to the point where they have too, so much talent. They're already getting Super Bowl looks probably. Just by adding Rob Gronkowski as the threat of the player, because... You know, I don't think he's going to be the same guy. I don't think anyone really expects him to. But the fact that he's not being double, triple covered on every single possession is going to really help him. He's going to be more durable. And all these things are just kind of coming to my head. Originally, my stance was I, I like to trade for the Patriots because I thought that it was just kind of a, a wash type of situation. But the more I think about it, I think that the Buccaneers nailed it. And this is a good move overall for the Bucs. I think they're going to be really, they're going to really benefit from this. On their roster today for tight ends. They have Gronk, O.J. Howard, and Cameron Brick. Those are literally, I know, top 10 tight ends on the same team. Like, I know Gronk isn't the same guy, but he's still Rob Gronkowski. Like, I actually can't believe that how good the Buccaneers are. I'm hopeful that they can put it all together next year and really go on that Super Bowl run that Tom Brady was expecting. But let me tell you, they are putting better people around Tom Brady better than the Patriots have ever have. You can just see it right here. One year of Buccaneers is better than, you know, all this time with Bill Belichick, how they can mismanage all these assets and not put good products around him. The Buccaneers have already done better. They have so much receivers, so many guys you can throw to running game, offense, defense, like all these things. I mean, literally just a better fit. And my overall thing is I think that it's a good move for Rob Gronkowski to come back. Uh, personally, as a Patriots fan, I'm a little salty, but, you know, I'm just trying to be an analyst here. It's a good move for him. It's a good move for, 
for Brady to get one of his guys in there. I think that overall, the Bucks knocked it out of the park. The Patriots are just sitting there with a fourth round pick when they had a first rounder two years ago on the table, when Gronk was like not even healthy. It's like really the same thing. I actually can't believe how badly they mismanaged that asset. So yeah, that's really it guys. Um, I did a quick little rendition of what I think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe down below. I didn't even say that in the beginning because I'm so excited to talk to you guys. So please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, do all that stuff, and yeah, that's it guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and love y'all.